Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about angles between tangent and radius of a circle. And we will cover a couple of examples on how to calculate angles of tangent and radius. And we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are angles between tangent and radius of a circle? The angle between a tangent and radius of a circle is a right angle or 90 degrees. Let's consider this visually. We have a circle and we've labelled the centre of a circle here. By plotting a tangent line that touches the circumference of the circle, we can connect the tangent line and the centre of the circle with the radius. And that angle is a right angle or 90 degrees. We'll call that P. So we can draw this tangent line at any point on a circumference. So let's consider a second example here. That is a tangent line that touches the circumference. And we'll connect the centre of the circle to that tangent line with the radius. And that angle is also a right angle or 90 degrees. And we'll call that Q. And we can proceed further on down the circumference and consider a tangent line here. And we'll connect that tangent line with the centre of the circle. And that angle is also a right angle, or 90 degrees. And we'll call that R. Let's consider a couple of examples to visualise this. In the first example, we're given the centre of the circle is O and we're asked to calculate angle x. So once again, we have a tangent line that touches the circumference of the circle. And if we were to connect that tangent line to the center of the circle, that angle is a right angle, or 90 degrees. And we will label that as y. And we now have a triangle. And we know this angle and this angle, and we can calculate the third and final angle. So we have y is equal to 90 degrees from before. And because the total angle in the triangle sums to 180 degrees, with x is equal to 180 degrees, the total angle in the triangle, minus y, which is that y, minus 52, which is that 52. So we'll copy 180 degrees, and we'll substitute y with 90 degrees from above, and copy the minus 52 across. And we have x is equal to 38 degrees. In the second example, we're given that the center of the circle is O. And we're asked to calculate the angle x. So once again, we have a tangent line that touches the circumference of the circle. And we have this radius that extends from the center of the circle to that tangent line. And similarly, we have a radius that extends from the centre of the circle to that tangent line. And so that angle and that angle must be right angles, or 90 degrees. And we'll call these A and B. So notice that this is a quadrilateral with four sides. One, two, three, four. So we know three of the four angles that allows us to calculate the angle X. So if A is equal to 90 degrees from before, B is 90 degrees from before as well, and we have X as equals to 360 degrees, which is the total angle in a quadrilateral, minus A and minus B, which is that A and B, and minus 125 degrees, which is that 125 degrees. And we'll copy 360 across, and we'll substitute A and B with 90 degrees. From before, and we'll carry forward the minus 125, and that simplifies x is equals to 55 degrees. In the third example, we're given the center of the circle is O, and we're asked to calculate the angle x. So once again, we have a line that touches the circumference of a circle, and we have a diameter that extends from the center of the circle 
to that tangent line. And so this angle is a right angle, or 90 degrees. And we'll call that A. And we're also given that the side of the triangle is the same length as the side of the triangle. And so, because of that, this angle and this angle must be equal. So we'll call this angle Y, and X is equal to Y. So the solution is A is equal to 90 degrees from before, and because X and Y are equal, we have X is equal to 180 degrees minus A, which is that right angle, and divide by 2, because X and Y are the same. And with 180 degrees, we'll substitute A as 90 degrees from above, divide by 2, and that gives us X is equal to 45 degrees. In the fourth example, the centre of the circle is O, and we're asked to calculate this angle X. So once again, we have a tangent line that touches the circumference of a circle, and the radius that extends from the centre of the circle to that tangent line. And so this angle is a right angle, or 90 degrees. We'll call that A. And notice that this is a triangle, and we know that that is 20 degrees, that's 90 degrees. So we're able to calculate this angle here, which we'll call that B. And because this is a straight line, we're able to calculate this angle here by taking 180 degrees minus B. So we'll call that angle C. And because we're given that this line, which is the radius, is the same as this line, which is also a radius. And this is the triangle. And so, because this side is the same side as this side, in terms of length, x is equal to this angle here, which we'll label as d. So, with a is equal to 90 degrees from before, as the radius and the tangent angle, and we have b, which is equal to 180 degrees minus a, and minus 20 degrees, because 180 degrees makes up the total angle in that triangle. With 180 degrees carried across, A is 90 from above, and we copy minus 20 across. And so that gives us B is equal to 70 degrees. And now we can solve for C. So C and B are angles on a straight line. And so C is equal to 180 degrees minus B copy 180 degrees across, B is 70 degrees from above, and that gives us C is equal to 110 degrees. And so we're left with that triangle, and we know C is 110, and we know that X is equal to D, because this side of the triangle is the same side as this side of the triangle. And so with X is equal to 180 degrees, total angle in the triangle, minus C, which is what we found, and divide by 2, because x and d are equal. So with 180 degrees minus 110, which is c from above, divided by 2. And that gives us x is equal to 35 degrees. To summarize, the angle between a tangent and radius of a circle is a right angle, or 90 degrees. So consider a circle with a center, if we were to draw a tangent line that touches the circumference and connect the center of the circle to the tangent line with the radius, that angle is a 90 degree angle or right angle. So that tangent line can be anywhere along the circle. We will always have a 90 degree angle. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.